Blue Origin just shook up the space industry with a new Glenn's first test flight. But did it soar as expected or did it leave us scratching our head? Let's dive into the raw unfiltered details of what happened during this historic launch. The build up to launch. January 16, 2025, Cape Canaveral was bustling with the anticipation. This wasn't just another rocket launch. This was the Blue Origin's grand entry into the big leagues. For years, New Glance has been hyped as the rocket to rival the best with its enormous payload capacity and reusability. First stage, it promised to challenge the giants like a SpaceX. But this wasn't just another hype, it had the proof of concept for the future of commercial space exploration. Lift off. At T0, the skies lit up as a New Glance 7 BE4 engine rode to life. Methane fueled, these engines delivered a staggering 17.1 million new neurons of thrust, propelling the 98 meter tall rocket of the pad. For those watching, it was a moment of awe. The rocket's ascent was steady and controlled, a clear demonstration of a Blue Origin's engineering capabilities. As it punched through the atmosphere, the first big question was answered. New Glenn can fly. But liftoff is the only first chapter. The real test was in the mission's objective, deploying a prototype satellite into the low Earth orbit. And here's what Blue Origin's delivered. At around the 8 minutes, the upper stage flawlessly separated from first stage. Placing the satellites on the intended trajectories, the data from this deployment is critical, proving that New Glens can meet the expectation of commercial and government clients. The success sends a clear signal. New Glens isn't just a concept, it's operational. And for Blue Origins, that's a huge win in a competitive market. The booster landing attempt. But here's where things got tricky. Blue Origins aimed to recover the massive first stage booster on a barge in the Atlantic. A reusable rocket is what makes New Glenn a game changer if it works. As the booster began its descent, everything seemed to be an on track. The grid fins deployed, the engines reignited for controlled landing, but then boom, it missed the barge. Initial telemetry a failure in one of the BE-4 engines during the landing burn, causing the booster to veer off course. This is a setback, no doubt, but it's important to remember this is a test flight. Booster recovery is a complex dance of a precision, and even SpaceX took years to perfect it. For Blue Origins, this is a valuable data to refine their landing system. And let's not overlook the silver lining. The booster survived most of the descent intact. This shows that the design is robust and that full recovery isn't far off. The technical takeaways. Let's break down the key learning from this flight. First, the launch system worked perfectly. No anomalies during the ascent. That's the major win. Second, the upper stage and payload deployment were flawless. This proves New Glenn's core capabilities for future missions. And third, while the booster recovery failed, it wasn't a total loss. Blue Origins now had the critical data on a descent and engine performance and the real world confidence. And these insights will fuel improvements for, for the next for Blue Origin. For Blue Origins, this test wasn't about a perfection. It was about the proving they belong at a table with the aerospace giants. And they have done that. Yes, the missed booster landing stings. But the successful satellite deployment is what matters most to potential clients like Amazon Project Kuiper and national security agencies. This test marks the beginning of a new glance journey. And despite the hiccups, it's a strong strong stop the road ahead. So what's next? Next, Blue Origins plans to conduct additional test flights throughout the 2025 with a focus on perfecting booster recovery and scaling up production. Their goal is clear, to make New Glenn a cornerstone of a commercial space flight capable of launching everything from the mega constellation to interplanetary missions. The big question now is whether Blue Origins can maintain momentum, can they refine their systems, secure more contracts and finally achieve the elusive booster landing. Only time will tell. New Glenn's test flight was far from perfect. But it was undeniable significant that this rocket had the potential to reshape the launch industries if Blue Origins can overcome the challenge ahead. For now, we celebrate the success and lean from the failure 
after all space exploration isn't about avoiding mistakes it's about pushing boundaries one launch at a time stay tuned because the story of a new gland is just getting started